All right, final segment of the day. We're going to close out ShiftCast with speed taking. Always a fun, uh, a fun bit here. All right, I'll kick it off. Uh, this will be a fun one. Michael, Joyo is still a top 10 player in Europe. Yeah. I'm like Ooh. notoriously. I mean, you guys know how like up I was on like the Moist roster. Yeah. And this is on a better team. I still think Joyo is like, I think there's so much recency bias, but like the amount of the amount that your skill translates to results in RLCS is often not like sure. super right. accurate. You, the best teams in the world are being put in the perfect situations by the perfect coach for them. Like so many things have to go right for you to be on the team to that allows you to show your ability to the fullest. I don't think Joyo has been on that team. And I think these, I, I still think he's as talented as any player in the region outside of like maybe Zen and Vitira. Yeah. And I don't like last year when, when he was with, you know, juicy, who was not the juicy we saw now and cash right. who struggled since he left, he was looking top five, right. In the region. Mm -hmm. And he had a little bit of a slip up with Moise, but I got, I still think he's right there. Like I really, really do. I think someone with his ability just needs to be put in a position to succeed. And he's going to remind everybody why he's an MVP of, of a land, why he was trusted to, to build upon by moist. I, I, I just think that there's a level of reactions due to recent bias. Right now. Where would you put him? Because I don't think I can put him much higher. No, than he'd be, yeah. Ends, like, I would like put him in the top I think 10. I would accept putting Joy outside the top 10 if you said he was outside the top 10. Yeah. But it would have to be like close because it's like, I think you got um, Zen, Vatira, Zen, Vatira, Atau are my clear top so three. Monkey Moon. Vatira did had an off one. I think Monkey Moon's still there off respect. There. But he yeah. didn't have a great split like, compared to Monkey Moon standards, which is like ridiculous. I think and then I think you get Rise. Sure. That's five. So you get the three K-Corp players. Yep. You got Monkey Moon. Um, you got sure. Zen. Ooh, sorry. Um, and then you. I, I'm, I'm going to take Seiko as still a top 10 player in Europe. Sure. I think he's proven that. Um, I think. And then I think after that, it gets weird. Because you got both players on Gentle Mage. You got Exotic and Drawly. And I think you got Joyo and Oski. And I think you might be able to just sneak a discussion for a Chronic uh, in there as well. But he's kind of going off of. No Alpha, no Rado. They, I don't want to talk about those two right now. <laughs> After what they did to my baby boy. I don't want to I, talk I, about those. I, I, no, I mean, they're there. But, like, but I'd say for Joyo, oh, that's fair. ninth or yeah, tenth nine, ten spot, fair. I think it's fair. I think the three players on KC, specifically Itao. I think Itao's been the best player on the team all split. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, all season long. I think Zen, there's no argument for Joyo to be better than. I think there's Monkey Moon's earned it. I've said he's the best player I ever played the game. Um... And then there's players on those teams that are yeah. top players. Yeah. And then You're after right. that, it's, it's like it's a discussion. You know, yeah. There's like 15 or 16 guys in Europe that you can like kind of all amalgamate yeah. from that like spots. Okay. Uh, let me throw one to Jens. Vitira is higher than extra on the GOAT list. Oh, ah, Vitira has on, just been popping off ever yeah. since he really came into the RLCS, right? He's been, I think, number one on the shift, shift top 20 two years in a row, which are the two years he actually right. competed. 2021, he wasn't even on the list because he just barely got going. Yeah, that was a false split, um, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. So that just didn't, didn't make it, didn't even make it into the honorable mentions, but that was a long time ago. So uh, I think... Um, even K Dop was still there. I think in Justin was mentions. top five. Um, I'm not joking. It, it, he might have been, yeah. Uh, Youngs actually didn't even make it into the top 20. It was just in the honorable mentions as well. Uh, anyway, Vadira is higher than extra on the GOAT list? No, because he hasn't made not it. Yet. You're not to You're not not yet. You're not serious. Not I hear it, Yens. It's a GOAT you guys list. Are he insane. needs to win. It's you guys a are GOAT insane. list. He needs to he win. He has the same wins. amount of lands. And he's been the he's been top two player in the world for three years. How is he not higher up on the list? To MVP, I hear you. World, I hear you. major MVP. Where's where's extra Z major MVP? I don't see it. I don't see it on the shelf. <laughs> like, like, come on. Where's uh? But where's I the tiers you, world Michael, championship? He's got an RLCS land. It's the same that's, thing. It is not the has, same thing. It is not dude, the same thing. I, that's I'm the biggest Vatira slanderer on the planet, no, and I no, cannot no, believe no, you guys. No, no, you could, you could. You could, I, this is not you could possibly planning. you could he possibly to say that old world championships twice a year are remotely similar to majors. 
They're the same. Extra one. Those are more the same. Extra one, one of these. Yeah, but he wasn't the guy. Oh. Like, two major wins as the guy is better than a world's win as not the guy. Yeah, but okay, but Vatira, it's not like Vatira was surrounded by slouches. No, but the team, he was, who's the best player on the Moist team? Vatira. Who's the yeah. best player on KC? Vatira. That, like, he was the best. Extra, unbelievable. Hall of Famer. I, like, so good and kept that team together through thick and thin because Lord knows they went through it. But, <laughs> like, there's no way we're putting Vatira. Vatira, I would put Vatira already top 10 all time. The guy has been the mo- 26 straight oh, yeah. championship <laughs> Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. I hear you, the last Michael, time I, I had to wear a mask to is... go outside. Last time he didn't make a championship Sunday. Like that's <laughs> what we're talking about here. But Michael, this this isn't Fatira slander. I think no. he would agree that he needs to win he the world championship. That's like, just or, what his or another like If he moment. had won this major, I think you have a great case. Yeah. Then th- yeah. things would be different too. But yeah. that's not the case. So right now, just this moment. I wouldn't put Fatira above extra in the GOAT discussion, but it's getting yep. very, very close. It's getting uncomfortable for us. All right. Throw me, throw me one, Michael. Sure. Throw me one, Michael. Um, you explode. I, yeah, before I, <laughs> before I explode. Um, all right, Hootie. Yep. So you're a content creator. Let's talk yep. content. If Moist were to hypothetically leave, we don't know, let's up in the air. Uh, and they decide, you know, we want to leave, but we don't want to like leave, leave. We just want to take a break and figure out what we want to do with our program. The best thing they could do is come to NA and pick up whatever team or build a team around Rettles because it would be the ideal way to maximize the content they can get as a content org. Um, no. No. I think, uh, obviously, that is That's a fantastic fine. strategy. But uh, personally, I think winning trumps. I think when mm-hmm. you are successful, people like watching you. People like cheering for you. It's fun to win. It's not fun to be consistently top 12, top 8. You know, maybe poke into a top 6 or 4 or something. Um, so, is it a good strategy? Absolutely. Does Reddles have a ton of fans? Absolutely. But you don't need to be a content creator. You don't need to be somebody that's posting on YouTube to have mega fandom. Daniel has one of the most like rabid and loyal and passionate fan bases. And he don't tweet. He don't do nothing. Um, yeah, but he is an incredible so player, and, and while he hasn't had all the success that he probably should have, um, you know, I think there's a difference that we understand between like, you know, that kind of caliber of player versus where Rettles is, and, and I don't mean any shade, but yeah, to answer the question, I would say no. They need to win. I like that answer. That's very similar to my answer about NA about 25 minutes ago, so <laughs> I'm feeling it. Jens, um, I okay, got you one got for one? you. I got one for Jens, okay? Yep. Go, go, the go. best possible native APAC team, so a team made of just APAC players who are born in APAC, not imports, would be Sphinx, LCT, and Realize. Ooh, help me remind me. Who are the other? The biggest one would be Maxu. Yeah, Maxu. And then there's some players on like Chapati Dream yeah. and and uh, others. But I would say Maxu is the yeah. big one that's like, you know, could is he better than one of those three? Yeah, but yeah, but would you put them above? The experience of LCT, just the brilliant mechanics from Sphinx, and just the go to realize, I wouldn't. I think that is possibly yeah. the best native APAC team. Yeah, that that's just right now what what you could build with it. And I, I realize is just still yeah. you know really good within the region. Um, LCT has proven that he's there. It's in it's. So impressive to see him play because yeah, he's a yeah. keyboard player, right? So you just watch him. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dude, what it looks like. What's funny? I talked about this during the watch party because his camera is constantly doing this. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, his whole desk probably because it's just it's chaotic, but it's it's impressive to just from sure. from a controller player watching what the hell he's doing. I, it's impressive. And then yeah. you have Sphinx who just yeah. is clipping on people. Um, so yeah, I mean, that would be the team I, I, that you was a would trick catch question. from APEC. You forgot about Kevin. Uh, forgot about Kevin. Nah, I didn't I'm forget about Kevin. Kevin. I'm telling Kevin <laughs> next time we have him on the show, because I know he's going to be back. He <laughs> didn't even remember you. He said you weren't even a candidate for the best. No, I don't no, even no. know if he's native to no, I, I, no. I, I, I like that take. I think that it's just 
Yeah, that, Stinks is top dog now. Realize has, you know, such a legendary player in the scene. And I think you're like you're right. LCT consistency. That's a good take there. Um. All right. Okay. Why, don't, why don't why don't we do this, Yens? Why don't you, you throw one, the one final two, two to me and Michael? Okay. And you you do it how you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Michael. Yes. Rule one misses major two. No. Who I don't know who wrote that take, but disrespect Nupo Nation again. See what happens. Yeah, no. coming to your door. <laughs> no, like there's like it's like Zen or like like I said, yeah. old Justin or like first killer, where it's like when you have a player of that level, maybe you won't win all the time, but you're always going to be at the top. Yeah, because he's just gonna like they have no answer for you. Can I ask like, y'all? Because I, I think that one's fairly straightforward. Do y'all think they make a change? No. No, I think they're locked in because I think all the major teams aren't making changes because they have no time to scrim. Like, if they would, they would feel sure, forced. Okay. And I think that, okay, basically, I think there are a lot better players in Mina than Khaled Ooh, okay. specifically, but also okay. Ahmed. Not a lot, like, a lot better, not a lot better. Like, there are players who are much better. There are some major. options, yeah. yeah. But none of them are close to Nupo. Nupo is... Of course, of course. I think the second best player. I'm going to give it to Killiers. I thought Killiers was show-stopping in uh, Copenhagen, so he gets to have it uh, for now. But in terms of pure ability, it's Nupo. Yeah. And I just don't think that there's a... Outside of Falcons, which are the best team ever assembled in Mina, I don't think that there's a team that can consistently beat Nupo enough times, yeah, especially with a team that's smart enough to build around him like the way they have, uh, that they're going to be able to... Yeah, it looks a little... Players. Yeah, no comments on that one. I've uh, heard that after their loss at Copenhagen Majors, the vibes were less mm. than immaculate. So, so, what a way to so, say so it. You're, you're good with the take that rule one is definitely going to be at the major, but you're saying that they are open to a change. I don't actually. I'm, I didn't say that. I'm. I'm not. I'm not you so sure on now. that rule one is definitely going to be at the major because they might not have even been the second best team in Mina while going to Copenhagen. Who? Twisted Minds? Yeah, Twisted Minds, Bravado Gaming. But, but they Twisted lost Minds to them. Probably... Like, none of them could... I mean, I guess in the Swiss, they beat them a couple of times. But yeah, I just don't know. I just feel oh, like... Oh, Michael, Nupo Nation is too strong. It ain't, it ain't I just happening. think Nupo is just out. He's just the guy, man. Bro, like, he I is think he disgusting. Could be, I think they could go no comms and still make the major, yeah. to be honest. Like, he'll just be, I'm up. You bump, still a boost. Like I'm going, and then like they just make top twos every time. It's also like uh, I don't know. I'm not that high on them anymore. Jens, you have been ex- you have been person. excommunicated from Nupo Nation. <laughs> <laughs> like John <Wayne>. exiled, <laughs> <laughs> excommunicado. I, I'm giving up my passport. I know, but yeah. uh, interesting. Okay, so we'll, we'll have to keep tabs on that and uh, see what happens. And then the last take that uh, is left over liquid. is liquid yep. hoodie could have won worlds in rlcs 2021 20, 22 if they were eligible to compete from the beginning of the year so <clears throat> that's a chronic oski Ato, the and they only got to play for the season. spring yeah they played the final bit of winter yeah. they sucked the first regional they missed that's the regional. right and the second one that. they got like that's top right. eight i want to say or top 12 <laughs> I, I kind of want to change that take to the yeah, beginning yeah, of the season. Yeah, but I meant season. like if I think this. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like if they were allowed to be eligible from like yeah. day one, fall oh, regional one. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think so. I mean, I don't see why not. I think they were you really pretty do? freaking competitive right out of the gate. Um, I don't remember exactly where they finished in that spring major. Do you guys know off the top of your head? Didn't they kind of uh, top eight? They lost in five. Didn't they moist. flop? Uh. No, they lost to Falcons and Moist only. Falcons and Moist. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm thinking about a later tournament, but um, they lost, that you're thinking of um. When, when did they drop to G two? Because they were they up two zero, right? And then they got reverse swept. No, they reverse swept G two. Or did they? Am I remembering the other way? Carmen Corp. Yeah, they reverse swept G two because gotcha, Carmen okay. Corp. And because I remember T um, Bates was like having a meltdown because two yeah. U teams reverse swept G two after. So that split. um, yeah, I mean, I, I think they could have absolutely. Like, yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to make the take that they would have. But I think they certainly could have. I mean, I, I, that team was competitive with the best and the best in Europe um, immediately. And so with a little bit of time to kind of get their feet underneath them, I would assume if they're going to be good enough to win Worlds in this theoretical situation, they would have been at all of the majors, which I think would have been very valuable experience 
on an individual level for Oski Nato and on a team level for obviously all three of them. Um, and we saw that team found consistent success at home and then at international majors, it was kind of up and down. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to say that uh, yeah. if they had gotten that experience early, maybe had those waves a little bit sooner then maybe by the end of the season, they would have knocked out the kinks and, and potentially won worlds. I mean, they're, they're as talented as anyone else. So I think it's, you know, it's one of those things that who shows up on the day. So yeah, I think they could have. It's it would have been a lot of fun just like independently if they had been, because that would have their like ascent would have coincided directly with like Queso Moist. Right. We would have had these two teams of extreme <laughs> two teams of extremely young players just like rocketing up the points Insane. board. And like I think it was it wasn't really a rivalry uh right. between Carmen Corp and Team Liquid because Carmen Corp was just better, but I think there yeah. would have been like a legendary rivalry there. Yeah, and then sure. you have Beast Mode and Daniel on the other side. It would have been like really, really fun. We would have been eaten as fans. Yeah, I mean, we ate a lot. Twenty one, twenty. Maybe we'd still have Team Liquid. Yeah, maybe yeah. that's right. Because that, they're coming back. Have have faith. I, I kind yeah, of that, believe that, it. that first two thirds of the season was rough. Yeah, maybe. Yeah.